hello and welcome to Hannah Channel. I'm Liz. Um, Genevieve's floating around here somewhere. We're just in our playroom. Look! Oh, I think she's gonna come over. I'm not sure. Oh, there she is. Yeah. She's a little messy right now. She's eating cheese doodles. Um, she needs a bath soon. Um, but today is my hematologist oh. appointment. Um, I don't know what to expect. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna get blood drawn and then they're basically gonna probably send it out to a lab and, <coughs> and then um, I'm gonna go from there, I guess, and then yeah. the doctor's gonna examine me. Uh, again, not really sure what to expect. The place is like five minutes from my house. Uh, it's right next to like a Dunkin' Donuts, so I know where that Dunkin' is because um, I used to do karate over there. Um, yeah, so who knows? And then tomorrow I have the baby doctor. So it's just a two day full of event. So I am back from the doctors. Um, wasn't that far, like I said. I got there around 2.47. Um, I did wait in the waiting room till about 3.20. Um, the process was really easy to check in. I went in, I did the face scanner for temperature. Then I went up to the desk, they took my insurance card and my photo ID just to make sure I scanned it in and the paperwork right. Um, then they took my copay and then I had a seat and then I kept seeing everybody coming out. Like they'd be called back and then they'd come back in the room and they had their sleep pulled up and it looked like they just got their blood drawn. So I did realize that they had a lab there. So I knew I was getting blood drawn. So I was just prepping myself for it. Um, I figured maybe like one vial cause you know, it's just for like my iron deficiency or whatever. Um, so the lady calls me back with this guy. I let the guy go first cause you know, I'm waddling and I'm slow and I just wanted to keep my distance. So we go in the room. It's like a whole bunch of chairs. It kind of reminds me of like a little bit of a hospital. Um, she makes the guy get on the scale and then she makes me sit down because I don't think she felt comfortable weighing me <laughs> because of my weight and she probably already knew that I already knew it because um, I didn't have the doctors that long ago. Um, so I told her my weight and then she brought over a whole bunch of tubes. There was probably like eight or nine tubes and I'm sitting there and I'm like, all right, and I'm just pulling up my left sleeve because you know, that's my good vein. And she saw my vein and she's like, oh, that's a great vein. And I was like, thanks. Cause my right arm doesn't work that well. Um, so she's like, all right, let's make this quick and painless as possible. And she put the thing in, took all the vials and then she offered me juice. So I was like, no, I'm good. I'm good because I didn't feel comfortable drinking juice in a waiting room with a whole bunch of people, like pulling down my mask and that it's kind of uncomfortable for me because I want to be as protected as possible. Um, so I went back out in the waiting room. I waited for a little bit. Then they called me, they put me in the room. They didn't make me sit on one of the doctor's chairs. They just had me sit in a regular chair. She's like, oh no, I don't want to make you uncomfortable and your back hurt, so you can go in the chair. I was like, all right. So I sat in the chair. She did my blood pressure and my pulse ox. Um, the, the blood pressure machine hurt so bad. I kept going on really tight and then I would loosen and then it'd go on really tight. And here I am like, just got like nine vials of blood taken, feeling like I'm gonna pass out. Um, I'm just thinking about the juice that I have in my car <laughs> that I wanted to drink before I got there, but didn't. So I'm like, how long is this going to take? Now it's like getting around to like almost being four o'clock. The doctor finally comes in. I guess their lab was really slow. Um, so they didn't have like all my blood work back. So he examined me. He like touched my throat and then like listened to my heart on my back side and my front side. And then he also like touched my belly, which is really odd because um, my belly is really big and he was kicking and stuff and I was like oh my god like this guy's gonna feel my baby kick <laughs> and then he felt my ankles a few times um he asked me a whole bunch of questions uh the number one question was he asked me about if I crave ice because they're trying to figure out why I'm anemic um I'm pretty sure I was anemic before my pregnancies um 
just seems to get worse with my pregnancies as you can tell like my face is very pale um so yeah I don't eat ice like I don't crave it um normally that's like a sign um and then he asked me a few other questions like which were obviously no um the only thing I get is like restless leg syndrome when I have my babies um and then the awful leg cramps but that's it but it's all part of pregnancy um so he does want to see me back in a week which will be next monday um i do go in at two this time instead of three i'm a little out of breath <laughs> um what was it say? okay yeah so he does want to send me for intravenous iron um, I'm not very sure on what that is. I know it's an IV thing. Um, so I am going to reach out to my Facebook friends and see if anybody else has gotten it done. Um, I know online on like Google, I hate Google because <laughs> it like scares the crap out of me. Um, but it says it can take several hours and they do it on different days. Genevieve keeps hitting my arm while I'm trying to hold the camera. Um, yeah, she's just looking at me and she's coming over to me. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Um, so yes, we're gonna have to figure out that information and then I'll update you guys in my video tomorrow because I do have the doctors tomorrow, um, which I'm getting my strep B done and a growth scan. And that's pretty much it for right now and I'll update you guys more tomorrow. So we'll see you. Say bye. Say bye-bye.